discover the incredible diversity of bacteria, from harmful pathogens to beneficial allies. In this video by The Daily Eco, we explore the bacterial kingdom. So, let's get started. What are bacteria? Bacteria are unicellular microorganisms composed of a single prokaryotic cell. They are among the most primitive living beings on Earth, classified in the prokaryotic kingdom from the Greek word protos, which means primitive, and karyote, which means nucleus. Characteristics of bacteria Bacteria vary in size, typically ranging between 0.5 and 5 micrometers in length. This means they cannot be seen with the naked eye. They have enzymatic machinery that provides constant sources of chemical energy for their vital functions. The prokaryotic cell structure of bacteria is simple. They lack membrane-bound internal organelles and have a strong, resistant cell wall, which allows them to survive in various environmental conditions. Bacteria have circular DNA, meaning their genetic material is in a circular form. They can grow and develop freely, except for some bacteria that require living inside other organisms to obtain energy and nutrients. Lastly, bacteria reproduce by binary fission, a simple process where the mother cell divides into two daughter cells, each carrying an exact replica of the maternal DNA. Types of bacteria To understand the different types of bacteria, we use the classifications developed through extensive study. Currently, we can classify bacteria into three main types based on their cell wall structure and shape. Coxi. Coxi have a round or oval shape. When these bacterial cells divide, they can stay attached to each other forming groups. Even though they stay as separate cells, they can create different clusters based on how they divide. Here are some examples of Coxi bacteria known for the diseases they cause. Streptococcus phanogenes causes tonsillitis. Haemophilus influenza causes the flu. Streptococcus pneumoniae causes pneumonia. Streptococcus mutans causes cavities. Bacilli. Bacilli are rod-shaped bacteria that can be further classified based on their length and shape. If they are short and irregularly shaped, they are cocobacilli. If they are long with wavy ends, they are genus bacillus. If they are curved, coma-shaped, they are genus vibrio. And if they are grouped in filaments forming Chinese-like letters, they are genus cornibacterium. Bacilli can have both harmful and beneficial relationships with other organisms. On one hand, certain types of bacillus and related bacteria are responsible for causing diseases. For example, Bacillus anthracis is a bacteria that causes cutaneous anthrax, while Vibrio cholera is the bacterium responsible for causing cholera. Among the bacillus type bacteria that are beneficial and part of the natural bacteria flora in animals, we can include Lactobacillus casei. Lactobacillus acidophilus and Lactobacillus bifidus. These bacteria play a crucial role in promoting gut health and aiding in digestion. Spirilla. Spirilla are bacteria with a distinctive spiral shape, easily seen under a microscope. They can be classified based on the number of twists and the structure of their spirals. A spirilla can have a helical shape with a rigid structure or a cockscrew shape with a more flexible structure, the latter being typical of spirochete bacteria. Here are some examples of spirilla bacteria and the diseases they cause. Tryponema pallidum, for example, causes syphilis. Borrelia species, on the other hand, causes fever and infections in humans and other animals and are transmitted by vectors such as ticks and lice. Lastly, Letospira is responsible for leptospirosis. 
also known as Files Disease. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. As always, don't forget to leave your questions and suggestions in the comment section below. And until next time.